If you want to build your own website using communities and keep the UI consistent throughout the website, you are in the right video. Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, I am going to add new pages to this existing communities and also one of the most important thing is keep the UI consistent throughout the website. So if I, even if I am going to add a new page, the website UI will be consistent or we can say duplicated because if we go to any other website, the UI is overall consistent. So if you go to home, about us or all other pages, the UI is usually consistent. Okay. It's not like about us is something else and home page is something else. It looks the UI is completely consistent. So the home page will have certain certain kind of a banner. If you go to the about us, it will also have certain kind of banner. Contact will also have certain kind of banner. So the UI usually is consistent in a standard website. So that's what we are going to learn in this video. We are going to add pages, but also keep the website consistent but before even keeping it consistent i need to understand how this existing page is been already built because if you have watched this previous video i did not build this particular page right it is existing uh, existingly available right it was already available i did not do any stuff inside it so it was already available so how do i read this page and create my own right i have to read this page because the next one i'm going to create it with my own hands right if I'm going to do it, I need to first understand how the existing one is working. Okay. So first let's go and create a page. So if you have watched my previous video, how to create a page, you can follow that or else you can follow this videos as well. So if you just go to the setup icon, create a new page and I'm going to create an about us page. So I don't want any objects included inside it. Hence I'm selecting standard page. Let's create a new blank page and the layout right now, which layout should I select? Right. The about us page layout, uh, the about us page layout, and the home page layout should somewhat match, right? So, uh, how do I know which page? Like for an example, this, 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 or at least these two, right? Or if if you have watched the previous video, the UI or the consistency is something like this. But how do I know which one? Like three columns, one is to one, one is to two is to one ratio, or uh, three columns, one is to one is to one ratio? Which flexible or which uh, kind of a page should I select? To understand which was uh, how the home page was built, let's drop this, right? And if I click on, I think so over here, and if I just click on the setup icon, okay, uh, the pages will be open. And inside the home page, you can just scroll down and find out which kind of a column is used. Three columns, one is to one is to one ratio. So now you know which kind of col content layout you should select. So now let's again create an about us page. So first of all, it will be three columns, one is to one is to one ratio. And let's name it as about us. And let's create it. Okay, so our about us page is created. Next, what I want is this is just a sample sample page, right? It is nothing else. Now, how do I add rest of the stuff inside it, right? Fine, the content, the sidebars and sidebar ALT. I know in the from the previous video, you can just go and grab the rich context editor and you can add it over here, right? So, I'm just going to add all this rich context editor over here so that at least the UI is consistent, right? The same way, uh, in the previous video, I added these few images right so if i go to the home page using the same criteria or using the same way i added three images at the bottom right these three images so if i just go to the home page instead these are the three images that i've added through the same way now the question is how do i add this banner page right how do i add this banner page i don't uh, like i see uh, i was able to add these three of them using the same rich context editor right so if i go to the about is you can add the same way you can add those three images like that using the rich context editors just go over here and edit content and just add your image that you want to using this right so but what if i want to add the header as well right the header the the layout the screen layout as well how do i do it okay let's clear it out okay fine now Let's uh, go to the home page and read out how things are happening over here. Now, if you look at the home page that is available within with our website, okay. If I, if I click over here, 
I can find a hero, right? There is something written as hero over here, right? I need that hero so that my overall UI would look something like this, right? First thing first. Next, there is a compact header as well, okay? Inside this compact header, there is no image at all, okay? So there is a compact header, there is no image at all, okay? And there's a hero uh, which uh, where I have actually added the image, okay? So let's go to the about us page. First things first, I already did it from the compact header. I just remove the image, right? I just clear the image. Just if you watch two seconds before, I just remove the uh, image. Next thing, how do I add the hero over here? Compact header is fine, but hero is not available. So where do I find that hero? Let's uh, look into components. Is there any hero name thing available? No, nothing is available. Okay. So if these things are not available, how do you add the hero? Okay. To add the hero. Let's again go back to the home page and read out how do we add the hero inside our about us page. Okay, if I go to the page structure, if you see there's a template header, template hero. That's fine. But if I go to the theme, inside this theme, or else we can also go inside the settings. I believe it's theme. Yeah. Theme settings, yeah. If I go to this theme, and from this themes, if I go to the theme settings, if you see, there's an option called a show hero hero okay next show hero header show header start hero under header and set max pitch width okay so the same thing we are going to implement in our about us page in order to add the hero to our uh, about us page so to do that what i'm going to do is i'm just again going to go to themes and go to the theme settings of this particular page and uh, show hero i'm going to click and start hero under the header okay so our hero hero is not visible now if you want you can add any image that you want to so for an example i want to add about us page right so it is going to be about us page so okay i think so i'm going to upload the image from there's an about us page i have I'm going to upload the same about a page over here. It does not look that good, but fine. Okay, I think so. It's pretty much fine. Okay, I think so. Scale to fill. let's keep it center okay so i think so about us page is added next i what i want is i want to add the content as well about no more let's say about us okay let's publish this So we have created one more page, extra page, right? Uh, but the citizen part is not available. I don't know why. Let's check that from home page. Okay, there is no image. Overlay border links. navigation menu and the theme settings are also everything is ticked except the fixed header position right so let's go to the about us page of ours Mm -hmm. I think so this is the part where I'm just going to go to home page again okay. 
and okay overlay color is this i want to keep the same color over here and this is all zero okay fine let's go to the about us page let's do the same over here as well now it's fine now it's fine yeah now it's somewhat looking fine to me okay i think so it's looking pretty much good now but one thing is still left okay how is the user going to go to this about us page that's fine okay how but you can also add the text and the image and the text as far as the need okay over here i have just added the rich context text area you can write something uh, about your customer something like that you can add the testimonials so for an example you can add a image of the person and in below then that you can add the name and you can add their testimonials over here and something like that okay so it's just about testimonial page but it's an about us page so you can add the ceo page uh, ceo and see see uh, the whoever the person who is working at the main person who is working at the salon or something like that you can build the uh, you can add the images according to that next thing what i want is i want a navigation tab over here which is going to redirect to the about us page so i'm just going to click on the theme navigation menu edit default navigation menu if you have watched my previous video i've done it already so you can just click uh, select about us page you can create one more tab which would be of type site page because i have to redirect to the site page itself and from the home i'm just going to select the about us page that i have making it publicly available save the menu and publish it now let's see whether user is able to see the about us page or not okay so one more uh, page is added about us so this is everything about the home page and let's go to the about us page okay so inside the about us page you can also add the name of the person and you can customize it further right so this is how you can do also in order to, if you want to add the image of the citizen the citizen thing right i think so it's also possible using i think so images yeah you can change the company logo if you want to change the company logo just go to the the pencil icon over here and then go to the images over here and from the image you can images you can add your own logo or the company logo that you want to so this is how you can add a new page and completely replicate and understand the previously existing page and create your own new page which is going to synchronize with the previously existing page in communities if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel